I am here with Brendan from Panic at the Disco. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, no, appreciate pleasure. it. How's Thanks. the tour been? It's great so far. This is our fourth show. It's been awesome. It's truthfully sold out nonstop. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be great to be back in the game with that, right? Oh my God. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty phenomenal. I mean, so far since the record's been out, it's it's been a blast. Like all the shows we played, the fan reactions and stuff, especially to the new songs. It's really awesome. And tell me about the new album. Um, yeah. You know, fourth album, fourth studio album. Fourth uh, album. I, I saw in a couple of the read up too. You know, a lot of inspiration from ASAP Rocky to Kendrick Lamar. Oh, I totally. mean, this is some sick stuff. Yeah, I love. I'm a huge hip hop fan. And I wanted to uh, kind of utilize that in some of the song material, lyric-wise and just sonically with you know some of the instruments and stuff. So yeah, it's been uh, been a lot of fun to explore, experiment with some of the electronic sound. And this uh, this record definitely takes it into that realm pretty hard. And then you <laughs> talked about you know like the hip hop vibe, um, the single Miss Jackson. Oh, uh, I also read you know it's got a little personal reference towards you. I, I mean, tell me a little bit about Miss Jackson. Oh yeah, uh, every song is is really honest in that regard. Like it's very very personal. Something I definitely went through um, growing up in Vegas. So I wanted to tie it all in. After I realized like the first three four songs we had we had for this album, um, there was kind of a through line, kind of a theme of growing up in Vegas, and I was, I was kind of willing to talk about that stuff now. I had this new appreciation for the town I grew up in and, and uh, you know, found my, my new love or just kind of reinvigorated it for hip hop. And, and I really wanted to showcase, yeah, just I wanted to be as honest as possible lyrically. So it is, it's about a girl I knew and didn't want to say her real name, so I yeah. used uh, Janet Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson, there you go, right? That's perfect. <laughs> exactly. It's easy that way. And then, you know, the video, you, that old school vibe in yeah. regards to Vegas, that's totally. cool too. Yeah, I mean, we shot it just outside of Vegas in the desert. And, uh, I mean, Vegas, you know, is just surrounded by desert. So it really felt like home. And being able to throw in, you know, the car from Fear and Loathing and like a nice shiny lounge singer jacket, I like, I like throwing in those elements. It's fun. And how is it growing up in Vegas? You know, everybody else is like, oh, we want to go to Vegas. We want to have fun. We want to have a blast. It's Vegas, but it's not all yeah. what it's like growing if, up in Vegas, right? Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, if it was, uh, you know, growing up there, if it was anything like a three-day bender in yeah. Vegas, I don't know if I would have survived. But it was, yeah, I mean, it's fairly normal. I mean, you can do the normal thing, you know, play soccer on the weekends and you know, family time. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of suburbs, so it's fairly normal, but there is that, you know, five mile away, you just see the strip from every yeah. backyard, you know, so it's always there. You're always reminded of, oh, this is like a very sometimes dingy, but sometimes just uh -huh. glamorous city. So you've been through a lot in the past 10 years. Sure. You personally, the band, um, you know, how's that been? I mean, yeah, it's been uh, a lot of dynamic changes, like a lot of stuff going on, you know, band members leaving, coming and going, and uh, just dealing with a lot of personal stuff. and. I think it makes it stronger. I mean, it, it's scary at first, you know, when everything starts happening, but for me, I like being able to put it into song form and into music. It's kind of therapeutic in that sense, as cliche as that may sound, yeah. but it's very true. It's, it's really nice to work it out in music, and I feel like that's the best way to do it. That's great. Uh, married, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, how's that now, being on the road and being married at the same point? I love being married. Um, I mean, me and my wife, we were together before we got married for about four years, three and okay. a half, four years, so we've been, been together for about five and a half years now, and. I mean, it's, it's fairly similar. The, the biggest change that I love now is being able to call her my wife. Yeah. And she's, you know, husband. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, on tour, kind of, you know, you get kind of sad. So, you know, get a little homesick. I miss my dogs. I miss my wife. Uh, so we have a rule, you know, no longer than three weeks, she has to come out and visit at least, you know, four or five days. And there's nonstop FaceTime and the non Skype FaceTime, being, right? always calling, always calling. Yeah, I get a little homesick, but it's, you know, I love my work, so I can't really complain. That's great. Yeah. Uh, we asked some of the Kansas City fans, obviously, some questions, some random questions for cool. you. Um, how do you drink your coffee, if you even drink coffee at all? Uh, coffee, yeah, a little bit of half and half. There you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, what about a favorite breakfast food? Do you have a favorite breakfast food? Oh, jeez. Yeah, every morning I actually have a little ritual routine. I make uh, three scrambled eggs with cheese, no salt, no pepper. Okay. And uh, coffee and one piece of bread. There you go, and you're set to go then I'm for good. the day, right? Good. <laughs> uh, last question too, regards to backflips. They asked, will you continue to do more backflips even tonight? Oh, yeah. uh, we saw you on Conan. I mean, where did this come from? This is great. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, I kind of stopped doing it for a while. I don't know what happened, but I, I've been doing backflips for quite a while. I was a just <laughs> randomly have a, a trampoline in your backyard. Yeah, I, mean, I, you I did. I like had it, trampoline right? growing up. Yeah. Uh, the first time I tried it, I was eight years old. I think it was the year of the Olympics. And I was watching all these people like do backflips and all this stuff. I was like, I want to try that. You know, anything I saw on TV, I wanted to try. I wanted to be a Power Ranger one year, whatever. So yeah, I, I tried it out, and I've been doing it ever since. I mean, I hope that my body doesn't get too old to where I can just, you know, not do it anymore. But 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to do it tonight. That's all that maybe matters. Maybe one, maybe three, maybe ten. I don't know. It just depends, Whatever right? right. <laughs> well, Brendan, thank you so much. Thanks we appreciate it. Appreciate uh, it. Obviously, if you've not had an opportunity to pick up the new album, Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die, pick it up today. And again, thank you so much. Thanks Best again, luck man. on the tour. Appreciate it.